the tendency to make the opposition feel bad, both mentally and physically. He is six feet tall, 260 odd pounds, and he might be the best running back in the nation. Craig Ironhead Hayward pounds on even the toughest defenses until they soften and give. But that's expected from a big back. What number 34 unexpectedly provides is a dancer's nimble footwork. Try to imagine Fred Astaire overweight. Uh, I think it's premium gas. No, um, I love getting the crowd into it. And, you know, after games, people tell me, you know, I love to see you run. And, you know, it's like a show, like the Cosby Show. You know, they're number one rated, you know, Cos well, show in the country. So I like to be, you know, entertaining, you know, a crowd of 60,000, just making them feel happy. Get funky. <laughs> More than anything else, though, Ironhead is an entertainer. He's always aware of the camera. Uh, ain't nothing like a break. And never misses a chance to turn a simple interview into an event. Let's say. Linda, why does camera follow us? You know you're not working. <laughs> never work. I never this work. This is funny. Check this out. This is funny. I should be doing this. Linda, you know you got to meet with WAT the afternoon, right? <laughs> right? I want you to meet with UBI and, you know, et cetera. <laughs> And, of course, Ironhead likes to rap. What player of the 1980s doesn't have his own rap song? It was Big C. It was B. My name is the C. It was Big C. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm from New Jersey. It was Big C. Well, it might not be as slick as the Super Bowl shuffle, but Sir Head, as he's affectionately called, is really just out to have a good time. Yeah, that, I mean, you know, easy going and just love to have fun. It's very seldom you probably find me in the, you know, terrible attitude or something like that. And, and uh, uh, you know, I'm just an easygoing guy. Hello. Craig Hayward can light up any room, and he's generous with his joviality. Give me a pound, homeboy. Yeah. High five. You want to send us all pictures? He makes frequent visits to Children's Hospital, where less fortunate kids get to see this huge, imposing young man reach out and give. I feel real grateful that I'm able to go visit kids in the Children's Hospital who are unable to do the things that I'm able to do. And, you know, I give God great thanks for me being able to perform the way I am. And just seeing them there and, you know, admiring football plays, you know, just runs chills up my spine. And, you know, I'm there to give them that warm comfort that I'm able to give. One, two, three. Yo, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> How could you not like Craig Hayward? He is a great kid. Plus, John Conmike might not like him. He gave you a new call there. It's W-A-T-E. Yeah, well, well, we'll get that un unscrambled. Don't worry about that. Uh, he's a great kid. I, I mean that sincerely. He, uh, he, uh, every time I see him, I laugh, I smile. Uh, yeah, he has that ability to do to everybody. And what he does at Children's Hospital and the other charities in Pittsburgh, he's just great. He had a rocky point in his life when he had the disciplinary problem. Uh, seems to have matured quite a bit and uh, turned that into a positive thing in his life. I think he has. I, I don't know anything about that. I just remember when I got here, the first day I got here, I think the uh, director of intramurals called the office, said he had a problem with him. And I was real disappointed uh, on the first day to get that news. So I called him back. I said, what's he doing? And he said, oh, he's not doing anything wrong. He's just hanging on the rim when he dunks the ball. So uh, you know, he uh, he's just great athletic ability. <laughs> Wow.